Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Shelf 8 of my horror DVD and Blu-ray collection. Um, just to let you know, if you're looking for another particular title, also remember that over here, I did this whole Blu-ray wall. So if you don't see a particular film in that section, check those movies, uh, videos, because a lot of them will be over there. So without further ado, let's get back to shelf eight. Alright, oh, well. Alright, so at the top here we have uh, Freaky. This actually was pretty cool. Body swap with uh, Vince Vaughn going into a teenage girl. Vaughn is a serial killer, so now she becomes the killer. I liked it. I laughed my ass off. I definitely recommend it. Very gory. Uh, we have Funny Games, the remake, which I still don't own the original, but I gotta get around to watching the original. Up here we have uh, two, The Good Things the Devils Do. Uh, this was a cool story about a collector who um, gets this mummy, and somehow the mummy turns actually is a demon, comes to life, and starts killing people on Halloween, while at the same time these robbers come in, to rob him. It was actually really neat. I liked it. Cool Halloween flick. And up here we have uh, Future Shock, a uh, low-budget 90s anthology with uh, Bill Paxson, rest in peace, uh, based on fears. And I thought it was kind of neat. Low-budget, but cheap. Alright, so here we have a forced entry by um, Dark Force DVD. I got it free with an order over there for now. Uh, the Forest, I thought was actually pretty interesting. Uh, pretty much this girl looking for her sister who went into a suicide forest in Japan. I thought it was, I liked it. It wasn't for everybody, but uh, The Forest of Lost Souls. Actually, Wild Eye put this movie out. It's black and white. Pretty cool flick, which surprised me. Uh, the Forsaken, still haven't gotten around to watching this movie, so I don't know. Uh, Fort Doom, it's actually a slasher in the Wild West. Uh, they're trying to get to a fort in a bunch, and this person's going around picking them off. Actually, it wasn't bad with Belly Drago, Debbie Rashawn. So yeah, get that for what it is. It's low budget. Uh, Found, Found's pretty cool. About a kid's brother who happens to be a serial killer. And uh, yeah, very gory, very fun. Uh, definitely check it out. If you want to get the Blu-ray, you have to go on the director's website. And, uh, which is... I don't know if it's on here. So, you can actually get the Blu-ray from him. If not, I'll just probably just Google found Blu-ray. You'll find the director. Then we have found footage, which is a movie within a movie. I love that lenticular cover. <laughs> uh, Frailty. Yeah. With uh, another Bill film by Bill Paxton. Uh, Frankenfish. This is a cool uh, take on a sci-fi channel film with a killer. Uh, was it? It was a giant killer. Uh, not a fish head. I forgot the fuck what it was. Wow. I know there's like there's a several fish, but it's the big. It will come to me. I'll think about another movie, and it'll come to me. So, yeah. It's a fish that could live on water and land. Uh, yep. Uh, Frankenstein. This is a new take on Frankenstein movie. It's actually good for what it is. Snakeheads. Holy shit. That's it. They're snakeheads. It's going to drive me nuts. Told you. If I think about another movie, thought about that Frankenstein, I get the snakehead. Uh, Boris Karloff and Frankenstein, 1970, probably the Warner Brothers archive collection, you know, classic right there. Then we have Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Uh, I'll also go up here, because it's another Frankenstein movie. And this is uh, Frankenstein. This is the made-for-TV series mini-event, which actually was pretty good. It's pretty long. It's two hour, almost three hours long. For miniseries, so more Frankenstein goodness. Some hammer with Frankenstein created woman from Dark Sky. 
Uh, Frankenstein meets the space monster. <laughs> Different type of Frankenstein. Space monster is pretty badass. So yeah. From Dark, Dark Sky Films. Frankenstein's Army. This is a cool found footage. It takes place during World War II, I think it is. And uh, you follow the, the group to raid pretty much Hitler's secret base. And of course, it's all these experiments. Really cool. I'd enjoy, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, Franken Thug. <laughs> I got this free. I actually won this at a concert. Not a concert. Wow, Matt. I won this at a in a um, contest. So yeah, low budget, uh, <laughs> like a gang movie. Uh, Frat House Massacre. Uh, so I got to get around to watching that one. We have Freak. This is a cool uh, low budget, gory creature feature type thing. It's short. It runs. I forgot how long it runs. But it's spelled by Deadly Vision Productions, and they're actually working on a part two. Then we have Tom Browning's uh, Freaks, classic film, uh, which I unfortunately put Tom Browning into. Uh, he didn't get much work afterwards, <laughs> but the movie's awesome. He was real freaks. Uh, the Freak Maker, put out by Diabolic DVDs, special release. Pretty cool uh, flick. Fright Night. This is the Eureka release. Uh, this has the uh, You're So Cool Brewster uh, documentary on there and a bunch of special features right there. Uh, if I move it up, you might get some glare. So you can pause it right there, see all the special features. It's loaded. Uh, the sequel, Fright Night Part 2. I would love to see this get a, uh, a Blu ray release. This is out of print and hard to find, but it's cheesy goodness. So we have this Fright Night Part 2, which is actually, it's called The New Blood, and it takes place over in some other part of the world, but actually I, I did enjoy it, um, but it's different. It's not like Part 2 here, but they're college kids and the professor is a vampire and, you know, tries to hook people up. Uh, From Hell with Johnny Depp, based on uh, the killings of Jack the Ripper. So yeah, I, th I like that. They have Frozen by uh, Adam Green. People stuck on the ski chalet. Fucking awesome movie. Uh, Funeral Home. Uh, I still gotta get around to watching this one, but I think it's a slasher, if I remember correctly. I got it cheap. Fungicide. <laughs> yeah, low budget shot on video. Killer mushroom. You know, it's can wield a samurai sword as you can see it's very low budget and very goofy so i had to find a cool green case for it on your side uh, we have the funny man uh i'm surprised that this didn't pick up more i'm surprised to get more sequels than one that it's got christopher lee in it about this jester who pretty much kills people uh it's like a weird type of slasher it's actually a lot of fun the kills like with a shoe and a bunch of other weapons. <laughs> Galaxy of Terror, awesome uh, outer space horror. Got a young Sid Hagen there, and uh, I think Robert England's in this one too as well. So yeah, there was one Forbidden Planet. He was one of the two. Uh, Gemini, uh, Asian uh, type of. I think this was like a Jallo type thing. Really cool. Uh, Germ Z, one of the other Fangoria release DVDs. It wasn't bad for what it was. No ger zombies and shit. Uh, German Angst. This is a anthology. Yeah, it's an anthology based on like sex and shit, and it's actually pretty fucked up. And up here I have is uh, the Haunting Fear by Edgar Allan Poe. This one is. I think this is an anthology. Gotta check that one out again. I don't remember Haunting Fear too much. Uh, Ghost in the Darkness. A cool flick based on real live events about killer lions while they're building a railroad. So I have it in my horror collection because it's killer lions. You can take it or miss it out. Some people will put that in their collection. Uh, some will not. Uh, Ghost in the Machine. I love Ghost in the Machine. About this killer who is the, I think it was called the Date Book Killer. 
uh, gets killed and supposedly gets into a car accident on the way to prison. He gets into an MRI during a lightning storm. He gets zapped into the machine. So now he goes after people in this one girl's date book. Starts picking them off one at a time in some really cool ways. That I like to see get a cool Blu-ray. Uh, it's from the 90s. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ghost Killers versus Bloody Mary. Uh, this one I heard was supposed to be really gory, some Spanish horror. So I could get into watching that one. I'll throw that up here for now. One hand is always a pain in the ass. Uh, the Ghosts of Goodnight Lane. I thought this was kind of neat. They're uh, trying to film in a haunted like TV studio. And this ghost is picking them off one at a time. For what it was, I liked it. Uh, Ghost of Mars. John Carpenter. Uh, you could hate it or leave it on that one. Uh, Ghosts of War. I still get into watching that one. It's another... During World War, I think, two on this one in a haunted house. And they do, like, a... Started by ghosts and shit. Uh, ghost Rig. Uh, ghost Rig was pretty cool. Uh, it takes place on a... On the specific rig in the middle of nowhere. A bunch of, uh... I think they were environmentalists. And they survive in the rig. No one's around. And now there's this demon that pretty much hops from body to body. It's kind of like a low-budget thing without the gore and the creature, but it's got something completely different, and I love the ending to it. The ending was a pretty cool twist. Uh, Ghost Ship. I really enjoyed Ghost Ship. Uh, some people can hate it or leave it, but I enjoyed it for what it was. It's not the greatest movie, but at least it was entertaining. Uh, Ghost Story. <laughs> awesome story with uh, Fred Astaire in it. And uh, the, cre the ghost there, well done. And pretty much what what you do in your past can come back and haunt you. Uh, Ghost Stories. This is an anthology. It was okay. Um, I fell asleep through part of it. I got to rewatch it. But, yeah. Uh, Ghoul. This was kind of neat. About a bunch of kids who are f pretty much uh, women in their neighborhood are getting disappeared. And they come to find out it's this creature called the Ghoul. They have to track him down. Kind of like a weird, like, tale of, tale of it, but a little different. I liked it. And we, of course, we have Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Um, I like Ghoulies 2 more than Ghoulies 1. Then we have uh, Gila. Uh, this is a remake of the giant Gila monster, Jim Wynorski. Uh, fun, fun flick. Then we have Ginger Snaps. Great werewolf flick. Then we have the sequel, Ginger Snaps 2. And the third one. Come on. Uh, with Ginger Snaps 3. Uh, we have Stickiness of uh, The Girl Next Door. Very brutal movie. Oh man. If you're into brutal films, they'll probably get you. Uh, Girls Night Out. It's a 80s low-budget slasher about a, they're going on a scavenger hunt and this killer wearing the bear mascot. It's growing around, picking them off one at a time. Fun flick. Up here we have a killer karaoke. <laughs> Weird-ass Asian ghost story with a killer karaoke girl. Cool revenge flick, too. Uh, glass Trap. Giant killer ants in a building. It's not bad. I enjoyed it. Uh, Glasshead. This is the one I need to get around to watching. Um, from SRS Cinema. Nah. Food of the Gods Part 2. This one takes place in the uh, college dorm where the rats grow and start eating a bunch of college kids. Love it. Um, I had the first one in the double pack. If you saw any other previous uh, shelving videos. We have uh, Gnawbone, low-budget uh, demon-type creature movie, which I heard it might be getting a Blu-ray. Uh, Gnome Alone, <laughs> Vern Troyer, Killer Gnome, goofy. Uh, we have Goat Sucker. This is an independent uh, horror movie based on the Chupacabra. A bunch of people going on a tour, and they do meet a real Chupacabra. <laughs> 
Uh, Goblin, this is a sci-fi channel flick. I liked it. Pretty much this Goblin goes around, had a deal with the town, and they had to feed it a baby, and uh, of course it wants this particular baby. Uh, God of Vampires. Um, got this signed by the director. Um, pretty much, it's like this dude that goes around killing vampires in the style of the Matrix. Uh, the Golem. Classic 1920s Golem movie, black and white. Um, silent film. It's for like pretty much like where Frankenstein got, I guess, like, <laughs> done with. <laughs> uh, Ganjim. Haunted Asylum. Still got to get around to watching that one. Grabbers. I love me some grabbers. It's an Irish creature feature. They love to eat people, except when we're drunk. Our drunk blood is poisonous to them. Alright, for a couple up top here that are way out of place. But for room sakes, I had to put them up here. Uh, we have uh, The Rental which is a, uh, a slash where I need to get around to watching. And The Remaining, which is a religious horror film based on the end of the world. Real good. I actually really enjoyed that one. Uh, Grandmother's House <laughs> from the 90s by Vinegar Syndrome. Very cool that they put that, got that, that released. Then we have uh, Granny. This is by Brain Damage. Uh, low budget. Like weird supernatural sl slasher. Uh, Grave Encounters. Really enjoyed Grave Encounters. Uh, found footage, Ghost Hunters, and uh, 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 Asylum. Then I have the sequel, Ghost Encounters 2, which I still have to get around watching. Uh, this is Grave Robbers. This is the Mexican horror flick. Oh, this was so good. I'm so glad they put that out. Then we have this one called Grave Robbers, which is a completely different film by Vinegar Syndrome. Very, very different. That's cool that they, uh, they both released a, released a film called Grave Robbers. Uh, Graveyard Shift. Awesome. Stephen King with killer rats and shit. The Greenskeeper. It's a slasher on a golf course. Some pretty cool uh, kills. Uh, Gremlin. This one is about a little creature in a box. Uh, you have to give the box to someone you love to pass along the the curse of it, and it has a countdown. If not, this little creature comes out and starts murdering people you love. Pretty cool. And of course, we got the classic Gremlins. That's the weird digibook type thing. And of course, we have Gremlins Part Two, the new batch. Love me some Gremlins. We have Greta. This actually was a pretty cool like thriller. Never got on to checking that out. Check it out. Uh, Gretel and Hansel. This is a pretty cool take on the Hansel and Gretel story. I uh, really enjoyed how they did that movie. Very cool and twisted. Another one on top here we have Like Like Canimator. My Wild Eye. Very gory, low budget creature feature. Alright. Now that this corner here, uh, Grim, another 90s uh, creature feature, it's fun. <laughs> low budget of, not low budget, a bootleg of Grim Prairie Tales. This is a cool anthology in the Wild West with uh, James Earl Jones and Brad Dorif. I hope someday this gets actually a cool release. Uh, Grizzly Park, Sci-Fi Channel killer grizzly movie it was all right for what it was the guardian love the guardian from the 90s i think what's this 89 ah uh, this one is 1990 i was right yep i love the killer tree scene where she gets attacked by the by the i don't know if they are bikers or whatnot they're trying to rape her and steal the baby and the tree eats one of them <laughs> All right, we have Guardians. This is another low-budget uh, creature feature about the group trying to find this one gentleman who stole a book who was originally part of the group who summons these weird demon-like monsters. I liked it. Low-budget uh, for what it was, but I had a good time. 
Uh, Gut Pile. This is one of those original Sub Rosa Studios Killer Scarecrow movie. Gutter Balls. <laughs> love me some Gutter Balls. Uh, the BBK Killer. Some insane kills. I love the uh, like the ball waxing death. Fucking gory as hell. Brutal. There's some brutal rape scenes in that too, unfortunately. Uh, Hack. Hack's a cool slasher. About a bunch of people come to this island and the owners decide to play a game with them. And start, they start picking them off one at a time. Uh, Hagazusa, a cool witchcraft movie. Uh, not for everybody, but I definitely enjoyed uh, Hagazusa. All right. Hair extensions. <laughs> Asian horror flick about killer hair, pretty much. Um, girl gets murdered and people take their hair and they make like uh, wigs and extensions and it starts picking them off <laughs> there's actually a weird dude that's infatuated with hair yeah he's fucking creepy uh the halfway house this is a pretty cool creature feature low budget um definitely if you're into that stuff this would be fun for you and last on this shelf is hollow ground this is another cool uh killer scarecrow movie i don't th i think this was a sci-fi channel older one but hollow ground pretty cool scarecrow flick all right, guys, uh, that's it for this shelf. Um, again, this is uh, shelf number eight. Again, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this shelf. And stay tuned for more shelf videos. Again, if you didn't see a film that you think I might own, check the Blu-ray ones because it might be on there. Later, guys. Peace.